What you are about to witness is not for the faint of heart. Get ready for Office Baked. So, we're back, and this has been bugging me, because I just saw it on the news, I think it was like two weeks ago, and I, I think I've spoke on it before during my radio show, if you don't listen, Bipolar Radio. It's not as much of a talk show, and a tad bit more music, but that's besides the point. But... You know, and, and don't anybody think that I am at all an advice column, psychological help, any of that. I studied psychology and I got the hell out of there when I realized I'd kill all my patients. I, I, I have zero sympathy. Like if someone came in, my life sucks and my mommy hates me and blah blah blah. There's the window. Please pay the woman before you jump. Our world would be so much better without you. But that's besides the point. But I, I was watching an article on the news, and they said that O.J. Simpson, yes, two-time murdering O.J. Simpson, that got away with it nonetheless, went into a TGI Fridays by where he lives and stole back. I wouldn't even call it stole back. We'll just call it stole a picture that he autographed and just walked out of said TGAI Fridays. Now, this was not a small 5 by 7 picture. This was not just something small. And because you're O.J. Simpson, TMZ is right outside said TGAI Fridays. Now, I'm going to use the word allegedly because I'm scared the fucking death of O.J. Simpson and I'm white. And he tends to possibly, allegedly, kill white people. So I'm going to shut the fuck up in this concept and just say allegedly because we have no valid proof I was not there. But he allegedly walked out of said TJI Fridays with a giant frame jersey and picture that was like four foot tall by three foot wide under his arm with the manager of TGI Friday saying, sir, you donated this. You're now stealing. His exact words were, I'm OJ Simpson, bitch, on live TMZ. If you get away with murder, how about you not even jaywalk you don't spit some, just stay in your fucking house order everything from amazon and instacart and doordash and you know get some mail order brides to come up in there because you're oj simpson bitch you know i mean at the end of the day that's just how you should do it i mean because you already blew my mind with writing a book called what if i did it what if you just shut the fuck up, dude? Like, like, I mean, Jeffrey Dahmer wasn't sitting there when he was getting convicted. He wasn't sitting there saying, well, shit, I need to write a book on how not to get away with eating humans. Like, because he was fucking convicted and shit. Or even writing a cookbook or something. Exactly. Like, if Jeffrey Dahmer wrote a cookbook, amen. Like, like I don't, I think people are, would be crazy enough to buy it, though. Like, I think that would be Oprah's bestseller. You'd see that thing on Oprah, she'd be like, and you get a cookbook, and you get a cookbook, and you get a cookbook. Everybody gets a cookbook. And everybody's like, oh, shit. It's the Jeffrey Dahmer, you know, first print edition with the tenderizer made for human liver. And you're like, shit. I thought I was getting some Rachel Ray bullshit, you know. But... I mean, I, I just I just don't get it. Like, if you get away with murder, stop acting a fool. Like, there's some people that it's come to be expected and it's kind of built into their persona. Like, you know, you, you buy an ICP CD, kind of says murder, kill, rape right on the packaging. You know, this is the insane clown posse this isn't teletubbies goes to sesame street so at the end of the day don't put it in and be like oh my god like 
They went chicken hunting, but they were talking about rednecks. No shit. <laughs> like, they weren't sitting here saying they were going to sing the alphabet to you. So, I mean, at the end of the day, don't be shocked. I mean, there's people that it's in their persona that, okay, he got in trouble again. Tupac, ICP. I mean, Marilyn Manson, it didn't shock me when all these people were like, hey, I was his girlfriend, and he kind of locked me in the basement and, you know, did some horrible sex crap with me. It's Marilyn Manson. And with that note, we'll go to a commercial.